，你好，你好，你好，嗨，你好。Did any of you have a college experience that was like what happened last night? <laughs> Off the record or <laughs> on the record?、Uh, <laughs> yes, I will say.、Uh, do you want me to go into detail? Yes. Oh, <laughs> like, go. Go.、Oh, um, that's <laughs> the thing. I don't、personal. remember、yeah. Yeah. what happened.、Um, <laughs> no, there's just plenty of times where you. Uh, want to go?、Uh, right, there's plenty of times where you might, might want to go. <laughs> oh out, yeah, yeah. And you, your expectations are: I'm just gonna go, just gonna have a drink and chill out, <laughs> and then it just it can escalate really quickly. I had and, one. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, I've actually, to be honest, I've never experienced like the whole not remembering what happened the night before. Oh, I have. Ever. <laughs> I have, and then. Got to recollect and then, it. Yeah, yeah. And then it the best is pictures. The best is when、time. you're、yeah. looking at the pictures the next day. Like my girlfriends and I would go out for a drink、mm. many times in college. She, like, I'm gonna wear my glasses. We're going out for one drink. And I'm like, all right, let's go out. One drink leads to two. Four or five in the morning. We're crawling into one of our apartments. Usually, one of us are bleeding because we walked two miles.、Mm-hmm. It's Been great, like on our feet. That sounds painful. So then you wake、yeah. up with a text saying,、uh, "Hey, you tried to make up with my friend last night, and she turned you down."、Yeah. If you can find your phone, right? Like it's great. I mean, all right, we've all been there. Right, right. 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 we've all been there. No,、mm-hmm. Have you ever been、no. forced to go out when you really didn't want to? Yes, always. I, I mean, forced others. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think we've done both. Yeah, I, it, how, they go hand in hand. I mean, like you have situations where you want to drag your friends out, and then your friends, vice versa, do the same thing for you. Straight up, broke into a friend's room while he was trying to sleep <laughs> and wouldn't leave. And I pretty much, I pretty much stayed with him and gave him like a quiet motivational speech to get him to go out. And he did. That's how it goes. Yeah, it's college. Try dragging your girlfriends off of an SVU marathon to go out. That gets difficult. That's tough. That gets difficult. That's tough. Alex, what do you think Sarah saw in Dave? Because he's only in one scene in the movie, but from what we can see, he's really an a-hole. This is a tough one. In the movie, he is just put in a horrible situation, and she seems possibly like maybe the type that would have been a little more insecure in some relationships.、Uh, she doesn't seem like the most self-confident. You can see that in the scene where she's getting ready with Mindy. She doesn't think she's pretty. She thinks she's too smart. That sort of thing. So she may fall. Kind of pray to a more like, what's the word I'm looking for? Manipulative. Manipulative man,、um, and then you, her friends saw it the whole time, and it just took him cheating on her for her to see it. How much fake movie beer did you all have to drink? Good amount. <laughs> quite a bit. Yeah, fresh. You were drinking quite a bit. You be. You、yeah. drank the most. Yeah. So we, we would have. Like, we had some、uh, <laughs> Maui Brewing Co. beers on hand.、Uh, For like you know, fresh opens, but a lot of times we would go to the sink and refill them with water. <laughs> I drink a lot of like a lot of water, water beer. Water. Yeah, and、During、it did not taste good. It、yeah. did not taste good. There was no in the beer pong scenes. Okay. There was beer oh yeah, there was no beer. Beer and water in the beer pong scenes from the ones that、right. I drank. Yeah, there was actually a little. That was being drunk on camera. How crazy was it shooting the beer pong scene? That was fun. It was so fun. A lot of fun. It was. I、it、gotta be honest. I'm gonna say this right now、you、on the、good. record.、No. I made that shot with my eyes closed and my hand in front of my eyes. After、eye. how many shots? Did it, take? it was literally the first try with all of the cups there. Right. No, every <laughs> cup was there. I'm not saying there was any cups. Very missing, large target. But, it was a very. I mean, it was. A, it was. A, but I made it.、Hard、okay, I made it. So let me just, you know, clarify. <laughs> I did make that shot. The、and、girls were all made, pretty good. The guys got lucky. Sarah. <laughs> made no shots at all. Excuse me, I made several. I wasn't invited. <laughs> <laughs> How many keg stands did each of you do? Several. They were fun. Yeah. Well, the, what was funny about the keg stands is that you were just inhaling a lot of air. air. So it, the trick was to make it and look it tasted, like you were. And the air tasted awful. <laughs> it was like stale beer that it was, was just like empty, empty well, beer keg. It just was like disgusting. And the thing about it was, is, I mean, I don't mind being manhandled by David Atunga. Oh, yikes! <laughs> Tell me.、Um, hey now, now it's. I、party. actually asked for the scene to happen, and Shelly jumped on board too. 
But I don't know how it was from a guy's perspective. Like, I was, like, sitting there, I'm like, well, this is pretty cool. He's lifting me up. I wasn't a guy, so I don't know how that felt. How did it feel to be manhandled? A safe space. It's a safe space. <laughs> well, this is an open space, open. right, for all okay. of us. So it felt, uh, I mean, hey, it's David Atonga, right? <laughs> Uh, no, I don't know. He literally lifted me up over his shoulder, and I weighed like, like 165 pounds. One swift, like I was like... nothing. I was like, well, this is fun, I guess. Uh, so it, it felt really great to be manhandled by David Atunga. Clayton and Alex, how hard was it to play the dead weight for the scenes where you're passed out? <laughs> I can tell you one thing. He played it right, because I was like, Jesus, Clay. This is difficult. We're going up the stairs, and I'm like... I didn't realize how much bigger he was than I was, and I was like, oh my god. Because of his ego. <laughs> he thought we were the same size. Um, yeah, so I, I, you know, I, you know, I for, think fortunately for me, or for Cody rather, <laughs> is that when we were going up the stairs, it was, yes, playing the dead weight, but I was still able to walk and stuff like that. But when you were in the bed, and you're having, like, you're having to be dragged around by Diana. Uh, she that, got her workout yeah. in. That, yeah, I never had to move him around the bed too much. Yeah. And that scene was cut short, the one that showed. It like, was cut. Yeah. There was more. There long was so scene was much cut more. Very it took short. like 15 minutes for her to move me from the time that I like passed out. From her to move me to the final position took like 15 minutes. By the end of it, they yelled cut. And she was like. <sighs> <sighs> and I'm just sitting there like, and I just burst out laughing at this point. So that was. It was very entertaining. That, we didn't. I didn't break character. It was all shot in one shot, though. <laughs> but you actually fell asleep during it. <laughs> <laughs> I fell asleep when you were in the bed. When oh, we yeah. filmed your scene, I was true. actually in the bed. Yeah. I was out. It was great. <laughs> so in twelve, in only twelve days, were the party scenes near the beginning or the end of the shoot? They were kind of in the middle. Not they were in the middle. Mm -hmm. We did some of them. I mean, the first few sh shoots were like more outside and like individual scenes. We did kind of the party scenes at the end of the first round and then we actually all flew some of the cast back in for a second round of filming and that was when we did more of the party scenes in like a new, new location. So since Candace had written this script when she was 18, did she have very specific ways to direct you that she wanted you to play it? Yes and no, I would say. What yeah, I think she say? had like a, um, I think she had like a visual of like what gave her the inspiration to write it, but she always allowed us to like explore like what we thought the characters were. So she wasn't like, she wasn't like too set on how she wanted us to play certain aspects of the characters, which I thought was awesome. Yeah. Well, I, th I think it was a combination of her not being too set and then I think she felt very confident in her casting because yeah. she made that note a lot that you're just what I imagine. Mm -hmm. It's exactly yeah. how I imagine it would play out. Or you are Dan here. You are this guy. So. Yeah. Uh, it's a combination of the two. She would chime in uh, once in a while just on like a, a tonal note. If someone's, uh, mm -hmm. she wanted more emphasis on something else mm -hmm. uh, for story purposes. But overall, she pretty much allowed us to be the characters. Yeah, was it. which was awesome. And that was something very important. Like I was on the casting side, and so that was something that we went back and forth on for each person that we watched, like their tapes or every person. We were like, can we envision them in the role? And then once we got them on set everyone pretty much fell into place. Yeah. Everyone knew their lines, everyone really fell into their characters and was able to go out without too much direction. Like we didn't have bloopers. Cause I was talking to Candace, I'm like, we should put bloopers in. And we really didn't have that many bloopers. Cause once we got on camera, everyone pretty much. We did have we did one have blooper. <laughs> Clayton decided to Which one? Cause they headbutt the camera was, and yeah. slit his nose wide open. And so it was as the close-up scene was okay. happening, and so he's he's trying to act like yeah, I think he was we being like a rooster back. or a chicken, and he chicken. was like, oh, it's a chicken. yeah, it was, it was like, a chicken. <laughs> like he going the at camera. the camera, and he went to peck the camera. I was and entertaining a child. She was watching the monitor from the other side, and I was clucking at the camera like a chicken. Got too close, shoved my face into the camera lens. And right. Into the camera. So you'll notice uh, the right. scene where I'm uh, baking brownies. Um, there was a discoloring little spot on my nose. Right Our here. makeup artist did a fantastic job she was of making it look Shout out to Jess. as good as it did. Thank you, Jessica. Um, but <laughs> that was quite, that was a good It was like bleeding. Yeah, Everyth was bleeding. Every time you would like even blink, it'd just like start bleeding. 
Pretty much. She'd yeah. cover it. So, what? but uh, but but we came through, and <laughs> it's a it's it's like is there something on his face? But overall, it worked good. out. But the lens was okay. <laughs> yeah. More importantly, the lens was okay. <laughs> the lens, the lens I mean, it broke okay. his face, but the lens was fine. Being uh, your first two movies, did Clayton or any of the other behind the scenes or in front of the camera uh, talent have any advice for you or help you get into your first movie? Uh, Clayton, actually, for me, Clayton was great. Um, once he showed up, I, I learned a lot, a lot. <laughs> once from him. he showed up. No, no, well, because I had gotten there a couple days before him. I'd gotten there a couple days before him, and then from when he showed up, I don't know. It was just a lot, because I know he's had a lot of experience, and, you know, like, right when we were running lines, it it just, it it felt really good, and he made me feel really comfortable in the character, and then we got, like, really close over the days of shooting, and I I always said it, I came back right after the first time we had run lines, I was like, man, I I don't know what it was, but I feel like I learned so much from this kid, because he was always just, like, in the moment, more about like, not just so much like the lines, just like the, like the interaction between the two of us. I don't know. He was one person that I really learned a lot off of, just being in my first film. Yeah. What are each of your hopes for the future of your careers? More work. I mean, yeah, is that obvious. is that any anybody's <laughs> hopes for the We've future? We've got things in the mix. A professional <laughs> water polo league in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Clayton, one of your first gigs was on Lizzie McGuire. Did you ever foresee you'd make it to here? Sure. Yeah. I After Lizzie, I decided to take a hiatus from acting as if I was I was doing musicals and theater and stuff for a while and then got that show. Uh, so I was working professionally for a very brief time. I uh, was very uh, fortunate and blessed to have had that project to work on. And then decided I wanted to stick with my friends and with school and with the water polo, the <laughs> water polo. And about eleven years later was when I came back and acting. So I I knew between um, athletics, acting, and academics, one of those three had to take a back seat, and acting was the one to me that made the most sense to put behind and come back to later. So I always knew that I would. Uh, come back and there was a part of me that was hopeful uh, but I probably just really saw myself coming back into it and it has come to fruition and it's That's wonderful good. at the time uh, did you appreciate what a phenomenon that show was as one of your first gigs <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah totally he was Ethan Kraft uh, but that, that's the that's the funny thing is that when you're auditioning for that it's the, the cool thing is that it's a Disney project like wow everyone loves Disney uh, but the, the the show Lizzie McGuire had no history. The character Ethan Kraft had no history, and that for it to become what it became is a, such a yeah, war, really awesome cool. thing to be a part of. My coworkers are all jealous. I know that for sure. Well, congratulations to all of you on what happened last night. What happened last night? Some new dogs, old tricks.